Welcome to the Indian Laboratories Forum. We are launching free courses for laboratory professionals, manufacturing professionals, formulation, and research and development professionals and students to grow in their careers by enhancing their knowledge. Follow us on YouTube for updates on new courses. Now we are learning about ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017. General Requirements for the Competence of Testing and Calibration Laboratories Clause 6.4 Please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Clause 6.4 Equipment It details about access, handling, transport, storage, calibration, use, and maintenance of equipment. The laboratory shall have access to equipment, including, but not limited to, measuring instruments, software, measurement standards, reference materials, reference data, reagents, consumables, or auxiliary apparatus, that is required for the correct performance of laboratory activities and that can influence the results. It means that, access to the equipment is mandatory, laboratory can have its own equipment, or, can also hire the equipment on contract with defined period with appropriate agreements. Laboratory personnel should have access equipment, those equipment which can influence the validity of results. Those equipment includes measuring instruments such as scale, thermometer etc., software such as HPLC software, open lab, chem station, mass links, etc. Measurement standards, reference materials such as thermocouples, reference data, reagents, consumables such as columns, filters, vials, etc. When the laboratory uses equipment outside its permanent control, it shall ensure that the requirements for equipment of this document are met. When laboratory uses the equipment outside its permanent facility, before using the equipment laboratory has to ensure that it is meeting the requirements of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017, Clause 6.4. The laboratory shall have a procedure for handling, transport, storage, use, and planned maintenance of equipment in order to ensure proper functioning and to prevent contamination or deterioration. This particular clause is demanding the procedure. That procedure should detail about handling, transportation, storage, use, maintenance of equipment. Laboratory should have procedure for each equipment detailing above requirements, including operation, calibration, and maintenance to ensure proper functioning of equipment and to prevent contamination or deterioration. The laboratory shall verify that equipment conforms to specified requirements before being placed or returned into service. It means that qualification of equipment should be performed, such as installation qualification, operation qualification, and performance qualification, or calibration of equipment. Equipment only upon meeting the acceptance limits of qualification, or calibration, the equipment has to be placed in the laboratory for usage. The equipment used for measurement shall be capable of achieving the measurement accuracy and or measurement uncertainty required to provide a valid result. Laboratory has to ensure that equipment using in the lab are capable of achieving the accuracy which is closeness of the measured value to a standard or true value and measurement uncertainty. Measuring equipment shall be calibrated when the measurement accuracy or measurement uncertainty affects the validity of the reported results and or calibration of the equipment is required to establish the metrological traceability of the reported results. Metrological traceability means establishment of an unbroken chain of calibrations to the national or international standards.
The laboratory shall establish a calibration program, which shall be reviewed and adjusted as necessary in order to maintain confidence in the status of calibration. Laboratory should have documented calibration schedule, which has to be reviewed periodically, if required, calibration frequency can be increased or decreased based on technical justification, in order to maintain the confidence in the calibration status of equipment. All equipment requiring calibration, or which has a defined period of validity shall be labeled, coded or otherwise identified to allow the user of the equipment to readily identify the status of calibration or period of validity. Each equipment using in the laboratory should have the calibration status label, to avoid misuse of equipment. Equipment that has been subjected to overloading or mishandling, gives questionable results, or has been shown to be defective or outside specified requirements, shall be taken out of service. Malfunctional equipment should not be used, it should be removed from the point of use, or, affix the indication to not to use the equipment. It shall be isolated to prevent its use or clearly labeled or marked as being out of service until it has been verified to perform correctly. The laboratory shall examine the effect of the defect or deviation from specified requirements and shall initiate the management of non-conforming work procedure. Laboratory has to perform the impact assessment on previous analysis done on the same equipment and appropriate CAPA as to be implemented through non-conformance procedure. When intermediate checks are necessary to maintain confidence in the performance of the equipment, these checks shall be carried out according to a procedure. Intermediate check is the performance check of equipment in between the two calibrations. Laboratory should have a procedure on how to perform the intermediate check and what is the acceptance criteria and there should be defined template for recording the intermediate check data. When calibration and reference material data include reference values or correction factors, the laboratory shall ensure the reference values and correction factors are updated and implemented, as appropriate, to meet specified requirements. When correction factor reported in the calibration certificate of equipment, laboratory has to affix the correction factor value to the equipment, to make the equipment user aware of the correction factor for applying the same in regular testing or calibration activities. The laboratory shall take practicable measures to prevent unintended adjustments of equipment from invalidating results. There should be access restriction to the measuring equipment. Only authorized personnel can access the equipment. Records shall be retained for equipment, which can influence laboratory activities. The records shall include the following, where applicable. A. The identity of equipment, including software and firmware version. Equipment ID, name of the software and firmware and its versions. The manufacturer's name, type identification, and serial number or other unique identification. Generally most of the labs will cover these details in master list of equipment. Evidence of verification that equipment conforms with specified requirements. It means installation qualification, operation qualification, performance qualification data, and its records. The current location, present where this equipment is installed in laboratory. Calibration dates, results of calibrations, adjustments, acceptance criteria, and the due date of the next calibration or the calibration interval. These details has to be covered in calibration schedule and respective equipment calibration records. Documentation of reference materials, results, acceptance criteria, relevant dates, and the period of validity. Reference materials, or reference standards used for calibration of equipment its records containing results, acceptance criteria. The maintenance plan and maintenance carried out to date, 
where relevant to the performance of the equipment. It includes records of preventive maintenance and preventive maintenance plan, etc. Details of any damage, malfunction, modification to, or repair of, the equipment. It includes history of equipment which includes when the equipment got out of order, when it is rectified, when the performance verification done, when it is placed for routine use, who has handled all these activities, etc. All these records should be retained and can able to retrieve whenever required. Takeaway from Clause 6.4 of ISO, IEC, 17025, 2017. Access to equipment should be available. Equipment when used outside the laboratory controls, lab should ensure the correct performance of equipment. Lab should have procedure for handling, transport, storage, use, and planned maintenance of equipment. Records of IQ, OQ, PQ, and calibrations, intermediate checks, functional checks, maintenance of equipment should be available. Equipment using in lab should be capable of achieving range, accuracy, uncertainty required for testing. Lab should have calibration planner and equipment calibrations with metrological traceability. Calibration status label should be available to all applicable equipment. Non-functional equipment or out of service or out calibration or under maintenance equipment should be labeled clearly to avoid misuse of equipment. Reference values and correction factors has to be applied based on calibration or qualification outcomes. Lab should take measures to prevent unintended adjustments of equipment, such as access restrictions, user access privileges, user ID, passwords, etc. Lab should retain the records, such as qualification documents, master list of equipment, SOPs, calibration data, calibration certificates, log books, history cards, maintenance records, access control records, etc. Examples of nonconformances as per Clause 6.4 of ISO, IEC, 17025. 2017. Laboratory is not having to equipment for testing ABC parameter as per the applied scope. Laboratory is not having the procedure for handling, transport, storage, use, and planned maintenance of equipment. Laboratory has not performed the IQ, OQ, PQ of equipment before being placed into service. Laboratory equipment which is used for testing is not capable of achieving required accuracy as per the test method or test specification. Laboratory equipment is used even after overdue of calibration without any technical justification and released the reports. Equipment are not having status labels with details of calibration, calibration dues, and calibration done by. Defective equipment are not identified, with status labels as out of service. Laboratory has not performed the intermediate check for equipment. Laboratory is not applying the correction factors for the equipment as provided in the calibration certificate. Laboratory has not taken practicable measures to prevent unintended adjustments of equipment from invalidating results such as software user privileges and or door access restriction for authorized entry in the testing area. Laboratory is not retaining the records of equipment as per the ISO IEC 17025 2017 clause June 4, 13. Hope you enjoyed learning about Clause 6.4, Requirements of ISO, IEC, 17025, 
2017. Please let us know if you have any comments or if you want any other trainings from us. Subscribe our channel for regular updates on trainings. Your comments will encourage us in providing useful trainings. Help others by sharing this training courses to upgrade their knowledge. Thank you. Happy learning!